Hi, air signs, getting ready to do your um, quickie love read here. I'm going to do Aquarius, then Gemini, then Libra. All right, so let's start with Aquarius. I'm going to pull two love romance cards to see what's going on. These may or may not go together. This may be for two separate groups, or they may actually go together. We'll see. So Aquarius, very soon, clearly, clearly decide what you want so that it ha clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And what else does Aquarius need to know? Okay, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So again, that's what I'm saying. I think this is two different groups of Aquariuses. One of you, you're probably single. You're looking right now. The other one, either you're dating someone and there's some red flags that are coming up that are warning you about this person, or you might actually be in a relationship with this person. Either way, oh, I already have cards coming up for Aquarius. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, Page of Wands in reverse, and the Tower in reverse. Okay, this is obviously... Well, this feels like it's here, and this feels like it's here, here, because Ten of Cups is being very happy. The Five of Cups is looking at the past. So I can see that why you're it's saying to clearly decide. I'm having a hard time talk, talking in your video for some reason. I'm sorry. Ten of Cups is being very happy. You want to be with someone long term. You want that full happiness, Ten of Cups. Whereas the Five of Cups is the opposite. It's like looking back at the past, being sad, um, looking at everything that went wrong. In reverse, it is better energy because it means you are letting go of that sadness. You are forgetting about what's happened. But you're going back and forth. Well, you have something coming in very soon. Clearly decide what you want. Do you want to be super happy? Of course. You don't want to be stuck in this energy, whether it's upright or reverse. You don't want to be looking at what everything that went wrong because you're just going to manifest this again, all the wrong cups, everything that's broken. All right, so clearly you want Ten of Cups. Now on this side, someone is not communicating with you. This one's, again... The, red, the flags are there. Don't ignore them. You already know that there's something wrong and you can avoid the tower. This is avoiding the tower. This is, um, again, page of wands can be fiery communication in reverse. It can either someone's not communicating at all. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're ignoring you. They're saying weird things. Just something's off. All right. Um, they may be acting childish with a page energy coming up. Something's wrong and you know it. And again, these are two separate sets of Aquariuses. This one you're looking. This one you're dating someone or in a relationship and something's off. You need to pay attention. And don't ignore it. Don't let gloss over it. Get out of that situation. Because honestly, if you don't, I mean, Tower Upright's you know, horrible energy. You don't be stuck in that. Reversed means that you paid attention to the flags and you got out of there. So good. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to move on to Gemini to see what's going on for you guys. Gemini. All right, Gemini. You have true love. Oh, yay. Okay, this is romance of a lifetime. And new love. Wow. Okay, new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, you may already have met this person, but there's a good chance that a lot of you have not met this person yet. Um, I'm feeling, obviously, we have two weeks left here in December. We're going into the new year. So it could be coming in in January, but let's see. True love. Justice, yeah. Queen of Wands. One more card for that. Yeah, I'd be very happy. Okay. <clears throat> so some of you, this might be an air, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. When I see justice with a card like this, this is saying it's about time, right? It's You deserve true love. You deserve someone wonderful that treats you right. Uh, the timing's right. Queen of Wands obviously can be a fire sign, but again, she's the one that goes out same with Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups a lot of times reminds me of being out with friends, out eating, out doing something, 
drinking, whatever, having fun at a party. So, and that would be the queen of wands type of energy, the card, not this necessarily the sign you're out, you're doing stuff, you're having fun. Um, this might be where you meet the person. So make sure you go out and any opportunities you get, take them. Usually what happens though, is you go do all that stuff and you don't meet anyone. And then you kind of like say whatever, and then you go out to the grocery store and that's where you meet someone or to the coffee shop or work or something else happens. But just make sure that you are putting in the effort, showing the universe that you do want to meet this new person. Um, <clears throat> This is a romance of a lifetime. And obviously, Nine of Cups does mean wishes fulfilled, having a wish come true. So definitely, uh, you could have a soulmate coming in with this energy. New love, a, new, a person has stirred your romantic feelings, or a new person will stir your romantic feelings. Okay, what is new love? Cherry, yeah, keep moving ahead. So that means some of you have been through quite a bit. Four of coin, don't lose hope. What else? Can you give them some guidance about how or where or who? Six of coin. Okay. So whenever I see chariot, it always reminds me of that. You've been through a lot in your love life. You know, breakups, maybe divorce, bad relationships, whatever. But don't give up. Keep moving ahead. It's kind of where justice comes in for me. Like, it's about time. Let's meet someone who is a long-term partner. Four coin, when I talk about this kind of stuff, is holding on to your dreams, holding on to that, you know, hope that you will meet the right person, not giving up. Six of coin is about balance. It can be, um, this card represents balance very well, the six of coin. Sometimes it can mean a one-sided relationship, but this is showing two people who are together. There's a partnership. It's balanced with the six things are working out. I'm trying to see if there's um, possibly something that shows you where you met this person. I feel like for someone there, it's a concert um, or it's... Um, I don't know. I just felt that I saw it. But, um, so just make sure whatever, you know, just keep going out and doing things with the chair. Keep moving ahead. Don't give up. So you guys actually have very nice cards coming in for you. So new, good energy. All right. So next is Libra. So what does Libra have coming in for you guys? Libra, Libra love. Okay. Make the effort. All right. And unrequited or requited, I always say requited, I think it's requited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, again, this feels like these are two separate people, two separate situations. One of these may apply. Now, if you are making a lot of effort in something and the other person just really doesn't seem to like you, then do not make the effort. Okay, so um, if it feels like the other person doesn't like you, then don't make the effort. These are two separate situations. Okay, you guys, I don't want you to waste your time on someone who doesn't love you back. Um, so it could be that you're in a situation where there is no love. And so you need to, you know, make the effort, you need to leave and move on to go find someone else. So what is this unrequited love card, please? Unrequited love. Now I have two cards falling out. Oh yeah, you're trying to decide if you need to make an, a new start and you do. What's one more card, please, for unrequited love? Six of Cups. Now see, I'm feeling with this, you, someone's, you're looking back at the past at how everything was good at one time and you want to go back there, but you can't. Things won't go back to the way it was. Something has changed. Uh, there's not enough chemistry. There's not enough attraction. I mean, this could even be you not attracted to them, but don't go to the past. I feel like what this is saying, what, let me put another card on this one. Let's see, six of cups, Hierophant. Okay. I'm going to read this two different ways. For some of you, you, 
you want to go back to the past with this person and you know who they are they do not love you and you maybe you want to be in a long-term committed relationship maybe you were in a long-term relationship with them maybe you want to you know make it married or something along that line if this is resonating this is not going to work out maybe it's someone you haven't talked to in years and you want to go and talk to them or you have and you reached out to them but there's not like things aren't really clicking it's not working they're not attracted to you the same way you're attracted to them unfortunately okay the other way i was going to read it was that there is possibly someone that you're with now that there's no love there there may be someone in your past who is communicating with you that might be more that might actually like you or love you and be with you but you need to leave the situation you're in now what does make the effort make the effort for libra six of wands so if you make the effort you will have a victory death in reverse oh seven of wands yes i'm saying this energy is saying the relationship's not over seven of wands is you know walking your own path walking away both of these are in reverse whereas the six of wands is upright but see this is confusing energy to me because i don't obviously somebody is in a relationship where the other person does not love them and they're wasting their time you need to move on where someone else is in a relationship where it's not over you can make the effort things can be saved but you know that this is a general reading you guys so please don't waste your time on someone who doesn't love you back who doesn't you know put the time and effort in to you and doesn't um make you feel loved if you question it more than likely they do not care about you enough to make the effort whereas there is a relationship great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take if you're being guided to do certain things whatever they are i'm not sure what they would be right now but it's saying that this is what your relationship needs it's not over don't walk away yet you will have victory so gosh kind of like op total opposite messages but obviously for two different people this is not for one person and definitely this one does feel like you want to go back to someone in the past or go back to the way it was but you can't it could be an ex um, but if you reach out to them and there's no response they're not interested okay so that's your love messages for now libra have a great week and take care